Hi, it's Steve with Tea Quilts, and we're here with Take 5, Part 2 of the African Shuffle. And I am at my sewing machine, and I'm about to sew my two squares here together. So let me show you that. And um, I'm just going to basically sew the one that I numbered to the one that I did not number. And we're just going to chain piece those through, and then I will come back. Maybe I'll do just a little bit of this on the camera for you guys as well. Also, before I start, I do want to just make sure that you see that I have numbers on this entire stack on the left. And I tried to put my numbers more toward the left as I got further in to make sure that uh, when I'm pressing, they're not going to be in the way. You do not want to iron over masking tape. So I'm just going to shoot these in this is a little big so i'm just going to take it and put it to the side here and again we're just going to chain piece these things through sewn all of these squares together remember I'm doing 36 and again I have my numbers on them and they're in number order make sure you keep them in number order and one thing that I will say I did show me in the video where I sped up the footage where I just pressed these with my wooden iron these are not little bitty pieces we also starch these pieces as we cut them and uh, if your piece is just a little bit small Make sure that you line up to the outside edge so the outside edge of your block is straight. Sometimes you I may be you have stacks of fabric that you're die cutting and you may not get all of that one fabric into the cut. It may be like a sixteenth of an inch off, a thirty seconds of an inch off. And I just made sure that I lined up all the time to the bottom, whatever's gonna be the outside edge of my block. So when I'm sewing this unit to this stack 
I'm going to make sure that I line up my outside edges, make sure those are even. So that's my next step and I'm going to go do that and I'll come back. So I'm back and I have sewn all of my upper large squares to the two piece square units and I have done that all the way through my stack here and now this is where we're going to now go sew this stack but in order for us to know what these numbers are then you're going to have to take the numbers off of your lower squares because you always want to keep the number on your um, larger square we're going to take this and put it over here at the top of these squares you don't want to put it down so that you would stitch into the tape and then I have already done that for the entire stack here so now I'm ready to take these two pieces sew them together and then I'm going to press with my wooden iron again got enough starch in these fabrics that you can wait until your block is completely done and then just do a final press and I would not iron all you need to do is just Set, set your iron on top of the actual seams just to make the make them a little bit flatter so when I come back I am actually going to come back to you with a completed block and since it's already late and I got to do some office work I will come back tomorrow with this step just so that I'm not coming back tonight so I'm actually going to come back with my blocks completed and I'm going to have sewn this seam to these two pieces and then sew these units to this unit here. So I will do that and then I will come back with a final block. I'm back and I have all of my blocks sewn now. The last thing you need to do is to remove the tape. Hopefully you remove this tape before you press. I removed the tape on all of my blocks. I took it off the top block and I just put it back on just to remind you to take your tape off. Hopefully you ended up with all of your blocks having five different fabrics. And uh, that's the whole goal here. And um, in the next video I guess I will go ahead and sew this together. I, I need to lay these out so that I can start sewing them into rows and then I can show you a finished quilt top. So that's going to be it for this. See you next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye T-Quilters. Stay blessed.